Hi everyone, so it's the Psychic Sleuth and today I'm going to be doing the Murta murders because it's very been very highly requested and since it's been very highly requested, um, I guess I, I decided to do it. It got my curiosity going and um, I just want to do it because let's find out what happened. I do have to tell you guys that I absolutely know nothing about this case. I, you can say I live in a rock under a rock or whatever, but I didn't even know about this case. I didn't even know when it happened or anything like that. Um, I kind of get in my own little world and I try to stay away from cases because if I'm ever going to work a case, I will not research it. It taints the reading. So yes, there will be factual information that spirit does give to validate. It does not mean that I've watched any of the trial or anything. I need to make that very very clear because a lot of people ask me to do this case and one reason I didn't want to do it is because I didn't want a bunch of comments saying oh my gosh you googled okay so you can check my old videos and see that I don't have to do any of that stuff and I prefer not to so I've stayed away from the trial I've stayed away from any info pertaining to it I didn't even know what the guy looked like until somebody um emailed me and asked me if I would do it and I got some information you know, the one thing I told her was I was hearing gunshots and I kind of described, but uh, I hadn't known anything that had happened. So um, I usually don't like to work cases that are out there like this because of that. But I assure you, I've stayed away from it because I had a feeling I'd be working on it. That's just the way that I am. <coughs> Excuse me. So just to explain kind of how I work, there may be a little bit of distractions. Tammy's with her kid tonight by herself. I, you know, I've got the animals and stuff, so just keep that in mind. We do try to not have distractions, but it is life in a house. Uh, so information can be past, present, and future, symbolic, or have multiple meanings. Spirit will sometimes use my references, experiences, or how I relate to something to try to explain what they're wanting to say. As I get information, Tammy will validate it if she knows it. If she doesn't, she'll just say yes to keep me going. She's there to help me move along um, like I'm giving her a reading like she is the sitter. Okay, keep in mind things are as we perceive them. I may perceive things wrong. Um, I try not to. So I will just give you what I get and hopefully it makes sense. Um, I am very sp spirit driven, so I only give what they give me, whether I misperceive it or not. You know, I am still human. So keep that in mind. Um, I also do get things happening around the case. I do get connections. I do get, you know, just different little things to validate. So keep that in mind as well. Um, Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. This is for entertainment purposes only, and viewer discretion is advised. So I do try to go from the very beginning of the story or issues to what happened to any kind of evidence. I try to get as much as I can. That's just the way I like to work. And as a crime medium, that's part of it. So I am not law enforcement. I'm not here to solve it. I will just give you what spirit gives me, plain and simple. Okay. I think I've mentioned everything I need to mention. Again, please do not put comments about me researching because I do not do that. Um, I'll just block you if you do that. Just saying. Okay. Sorry. I have to put that because I have like 15 comments and it gets so freaking annoying. I can't I can't handle it. Um, it's more annoying than like I want to complain about it or respond back. It's just annoying. Like... 15 yeah. comments of the same crap. It's, it's just dumb. Okay. So for those of you that are new here, I do scribble as I try to get information. I am looking. And I do have to tell you, I did not know, even know their names. I had to ask Tammy. I knew the last name, obviously. But when I went to go ask her, um, before she got back to me, I heard Maggie. So I was like, is it Maggie? And she was like, yes. <laughs> so yeah. Maggie's already trying to come through. Um so that's why I tried to focus. I'm going to try to focus on her. We'll see what she gives me. If I feel like I need more, I'll go to Paul. But um, I think she she really wants to talk for some reason. Um, I think so, too. So I don't really know. We'll find out. Hopefully it's right. I always get nervous before cases, guys, because I never want to give any wrong information or lead anything a wrong way. Right. And, but I've always, I you know, it's hard to trust sometimes. Yeah. Just, I do the best I can. Okay. 
Okay, so I don't know if he was in shady deals, but I heard something about shady dealings before we ever got the rating going. Um, yeah. Like when I was first getting on. So I don't know exactly what, like anything about this guy. I literally know nothing, but <coughs> he wanted to cough for some reason. But I hear the word, I hear the word shady dealing. Yeah. Shady dealings. I hear I hear shading dealings with shady people is what I hear. Yeah. Um, mm. I don't know who the guy is. I don't know if he's a like a businessman. Um, yeah. Or he owns companies or owns a company or something like that. Yes. But yes. Um, yes. it he comes across they come across as prominent. Um, Millionaires. Yeah. But there is some arguing going on. Um, so I don't know if they were not getting along at this point in time. But there's a reference. I can hear a male and female arguing back and forth. Um, and again, I don't know if it's over money. She keeps showing me like um, ledgers or receipts or um something that has to do with the business or money or something like that i actually yeah. hear money laundering i wonder if that if he was doing that because he seems really shady um yeah. Yeah. in his business dealings but Their house seems really big to me, um, but I keep getting like, I don't know if it's brick. Um, it kind of reminds me like the old colonial like kind of houses, maybe like I, I get pillars in the yeah. front. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's right, but I'm getting like bricks um, for some reason and like lots of windows and I'm getting like, like uh like huge, like a lot of acres or something like it. Yeah. But it also, it also feels like, like it's secluded. Um, yes. I don't know if it's surrounded by trees, but it, it's kind of odd. I get like this feeling of being surrounded by trees and then there's yeah. just like this big area that's just theirs. Um, yeah. And I feel like there's a gate or something like that as well. Yes. Just talking there. about a gate. Um, yep. In the front. I wonder if he was stepping out on her with, um, there's a reference to like a younger woman that he's buying jewelry for. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's like, now this time I am saying escorts. I don't know if it's escorts or, um, <laughs> someone like, you know, something like that. Uh, or if it's, right. if it's yeah. one particular you know, like a lot of rich men do, but it, I, I see this younger woman and I don't know if anybody knew about that. Um, yeah. as far as an affair or something is concerned. Um, but it's almost okay. like he's, it comes across as he's spending money on her. And I don't know if that's what they're arguing about. Uh, it could be, it could be, but there, there seems to be some sort of argument. Uh, I keep getting like, um, uh, 
I'm trying to understand these visions. Hold on. I don't. She's skipping forward. Um, now, I don't know if he's trying to say, like, someone else did it. Uh, and it had to do with his. Like, his business dealings or something like that. Like, or, I don't know. There, um, it comes across something with his alibi that they have been able to break. Yeah. Yep. Um, where he said he was somewhere or doing something, but he really wasn't. Right. Yep. And I hear the word set up, like he set this up to look like something different. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. like with the evidence, I hear yep. the words reasonable doubt, trying to create reasonable doubt. So there is... keep getting a fireplace. I wonder if their house has a fireplace in it. I don't know why. It, it kind of... I keep seeing, like, a brick fireplace, and I don't know what the reference would be to that. Okay. Um, There's really something about finances that is coming in here pretty strongly. Yes. Um, yes. I don't know if he was in trouble and they had insurance on him. I don't. There's there's some kind of, it's like a huge, there's a huge thing with finances around it. And I don't, I hear squandered. So I don't know if he would squander money or did squander money. But there's also that feeling. Um, okay. I, he he was stealing money from the company. Is that considered that money laundering? I think so. That's why I said it makes sense. Because because I got that earlier. Yeah, that's why she would be showing me like ledgers and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, like I feel like she maybe she found out. Yeah. Um. I don't understand why the son other than he was there. It's it's I get this odd this is so like I'm trying to make sense of my of my visions because it's almost like he walks them out of the house. Okay. Yeah. By gunpoint. Oh. Okay. But I'm trying to see because I'm a little confused on if it's related to the to the business and the money and somebody did it that's related to that or if it was him okay. related to that. Like that's one thing I'm trying to tell because it's definitely money related. Right. Like if yeah. I'm, what I'm trying to see is if he's being framed or if he actually did do it. Okay. Um, I feel like the evidence points to him doing it. Yeah. But I could be picking up what he was trying to make it look like. Right. Because I think that's where my confusion is coming in because I'm getting like these two guys like walking them out and like um, executing them and then, you know, for like something to do with his business. But at the same time, I, like that one case where I did where I was taken through like a scenario of, of what was in the guy's mind, like it yeah. could be I'm yeah. picking up on a plan or what he was trying to make it look like. Because okay. it doesn't seem real when I'm getting that, but I'm not right. sure. That's why I'm, I'm kind of struggling to see if that's an actual real thing or if it's. Because I'm getting two. Okay. So either there is two people or he wanted to make it look like there was two people. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so she shows me him going to, and I don't know when the gun was bought, or I hear the second a second gun, but bought at a, there's a reference to like going in and buying it somewhere or something. Um, yeah. Or acquiring it that way, and I don't know if they have proof of that. Yeah. Uh, because she shows me, and because... I'm questioning. Right. You know? so he shows me him going in and buying the gun. Or buying a gun yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? I don't know if that's come out or yes. not. Or anything. It well, has? They, okay. They had it. Yeah. Yeah. It does. You can validate it. Just validate with don't give me extra information. But I just need to know. Right. They have yes. something. Yes. Like another gun was bought prior to the shootings. Yes. It was one that was used in the shootings, right? That's what I hear thinking, ballistics. Yes. I hear ballistics. Yeah, okay, so and yes. that's what I'm saying. I don't know if they have like receipts or a video or something. There's some kind of evidence yeah. that puts him in a store buying a gun. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I also feel like he may have had another gun. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Uh, so okay, now that we're past that. Because I was questioning her. I was like, well, why am I getting this this other like weird reference? So then she shows right. me him going in and buying a gun. If he didn't have anything to do with it, why is he buying a gun that was used? So that was her way of yeah. validating it to me. Um, I hear on the rocks. I wonder if their relationship was on the rocks. And I feel like if she would have left him, she would have taken like half of what he had or most of what he had. And I don't know if this yeah. was just something that was between them, but I hear like on the rocks or wanting a divorce or there's something like that going on. Right. Yeah. He, he, and he's like this, it's, this is a hindrance to him. Like all of a sudden his relationship with her and, and the son, for some reason, I don't know if he was having a midlife crisis crisis and wanted to go live it up with some young girls. Like it kind of comes across right. with, uh, you know, they're becoming a hindrance or a burden, but also there's stuff that I feel like she knew that he didn't want anybody else to know, but I feel like he started to set this up for a long period of time. Like there's things that were done along the way to set up this situation. Okay. If, if that makes sense. Yeah. To make yeah. it look like somebody else did it. There was things that he was putting into motion and he was trying to be smart about it. Allegedly. Yeah. Um, allegedly. so yeah, allegedly, this is all alleged. <laughs> yeah. But what I see, it's so odd, but I see like, I'm trying to figure out if it was night or daytime. Okay. I think it might be nighttime. There's something that happens in the living room because for some reason she shows me sitting on the couch. But this was this was like prior that night or something. I don't know if that's when the argument was or what. But then I also okay. I'm thinking this might be night because there's a reference to getting them up out of bed. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does that make sense? Or at gunpoint or something? It makes sense at night. Yeah. Okay. Because I see it's it's. He, it's so weird. Like she's sleeping, he, he's sleeping or something. It, it's almost like he comes in with a gun and a flashlight and he's got a jacket on. Like a, he's, he looks like he's even wearing dark, dark colors or black. And um, he like forces them out of the house. Okay. And the whole time she's like, I get, she's showing me her like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are we doing? Kind of thing. Right. He, he was trying to make this look like something it wasn't. He knew that if he did it in the house, it would be more of a, yeah, the husband did it. Instead of if he walked him out, made it look like an execution. Because it, it feels like that's what it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it seems like he's trying to blame it on people he did business with or something like that. Yeah. I don't know what the break I don't know what the break in the alibi is, but um 
maybe he was supposedly wasn't home that night. He was, you know, he supposedly wasn't home at that time, but he was home at that time. His, right. I'm getting a phone ping. I'm getting a phone ping or a wit. There's also a witness or something. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. But that I do know. Okay. But I'm, but. I keep getting something with this phone. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe he tried to leave it there to make it seem or make, leave it somewhere else. I don't know. I don't really know what the phone thing is. Um, but I'm getting a phone and like a reference to a phone or phone ping. Yeah. Yes. But he, they, it's like weird. Like she's walking like this and she's like, what are you doing? Like, like please don't do this. Like, that's what, that's what I'm seeing as he's walking him out. You know, he's yelling. He's, ticked because yeah. something that happened has made him enraged yeah. yeah towards her whether i think it has something to do with one money two like she was wanting to leave him there's there's something it's like it's like a mixture of things in the way that yeah. it comes across um but i feel like he had been kind of this hard like man like um i don't know if it's emotional abuse or just like controlling like he feels like this really like he's two people but i feel like he's really brutal in business as well but he's yeah. he could seem like a normal like person but he's like really like um i don't know how to explain it um, very like, er, uh, like rigid. Yeah. Like I hear cutthroat businessman. Um, so he could get really like a holy when he wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it's, it's weird. Cause there's something about him yelling at her or being really angry around this time. Okay. Yeah. I hear execution style. Did he use, did he use one gun on on her and one gun on his son? Like two different guns, like one gun on his son and one gun on her. That's what I got out of it. Yes. Because it's almost like he wanted to make it seem like there's more than one person there. That was the plan. Yeah. So that he would, it would, it creates reasonable doubt by the ballistics of two different guns. Like I said, he, per, he planned and prepared this to make it look like something it wasn't. Yeah. Then he comes home as the grieving husband the next day, finds him. Oh my gosh, my family's been shot. Yeah. Like that's the way it comes across. Yeah. I yeah. feel like I want to go to the back of the house, the edge of the property, and there's um there's woods back there, um yeah. or some kind of tree. There's like a tree line, and then um, yeah, I hear barking dogs. Yeah, it, how many dogs it did was they have? A lot. Um, it happened right by the dog kennel. They have a lot and of there dogs. Was like, yeah. Because I From hear the a video lot of I see. Yeah. Like 11 or something like that. I don't know. I get the number. Oh, I don't know. I know I just, I don't. Yeah. I just see a lot of dogs in the kennels in the video. So, yeah. Um, so it almost feels like that the barking of the dogs were to hide the gunshot. Okay. Yeah. Is kind of how it feels. Because why, why, why take them? back there right but it's, it feels like to the back of the property and then there's like a tree line and then yeah yep. um i don't know is he saying he, why do i hear business meeting was he saying he was at a business meeting or something 
It's it's weird. It's almost like he comes home. I don't know if it's late at night or the next day, supposedly. Right. And it's I actually later. think he got in his car and left. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. He got in his car and left. Yep. He got in his car and left and went somewhere else to make his alibi. Yep. Yep. And then comes back and for some reason acts like he's going through the house looking for them. Yep. Goes, goes, then he's like, oh, I'm going to check the property. Goes to the property, finds them, runs and gets a phone or something because I don't think he has his phone with him. But I see him yeah. running and getting his phone, and now he's at the front of the property or towards the front, yeah. like by the house. Yep. And that's where he makes a phone call, and he's like, "Fake crying." Sorry, it's it. I'm not trying. <laughs> she allegedly. says he's a good actor. She says he's a good actor, yeah. allegedly. Um, because she she shows me him crying there, and then crying yep. in court. Or having yep. these emotions yep. that aren't real. But I also, because it's almost like, like I said, he, this was plain, this was literally like planned and he thought he had everything. He wasn't expecting anybody to see him for one. Right. Yeah. And for two, wherever he hid this gun, they found it or whatever he did with it. He did something with the gun. Um, yeah. I see him wiping it off. Like yeah. taking a rag and and wiping off the gun, like trying to wipe off the fingerprints or something. Um, was it in the woods? It's weird. I like to see it thrown somewhere. At least one of them or something. I don't know how they found it. Right. Um, because right. I don't think he, he would have kept it. Like that doesn't make sense to me. Like you would think he'd try to get rid of it or hide it or something. Because they obviously have it because I hear ballistics. Right. Like Unless the ballistics of is shell. off of the ballistics off the shell casing, then so that's why I'm getting ballistics. Around so maybe the, they don't have. So do you know if they have the gun or not? That I haven't heard yet. It's weird. It's like one I see. Hmm. I don't know how they can match ballistics without the gun. I don't know. Like, he would have gotten rid of them. It doesn't make sense he would keep them. Right. But I feel you know? like if they know shell casings, they know what guns that they also owned. Yeah, but still they have to mix up, match up the striations of the shell casings with right. the gun to make sure it's fired from that gun. Um, I just don't know if it's if it's missing or they found it. I don't see that he would like put it back. That doesn't make sense to me. If he'd be really dumb if he did that. Um. All right, they do have guns and evidence. Okay. It for for court. So. So they must have found him. Whatever he. Yeah. They must have tracked movements and found them or something. Because I don't see that he yeah. would keep them. But maybe he did. Maybe he's that dumb. Um, yeah. I see it on there. So, yes. I keep coughing. I just wonder. <coughs> it feels like execution style, but I'm trying to see if like they were facing forward or facing back, you know, facing with their backs to him or if they were facing forward. Okay. It's almost like I hear four shots, like two shots each or something. Um, okay. 
wonder if he tried to make it like like a home invasion or something. I hear that word, those words. Okay. So I don't know if that was an idea or something at some point. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, I do keep getting a reference to the head. Yes. It's like the head and chest area. Um, and I, yeah. so I think they were fa I think they were back facing execution style is, is with their back facing, right? Like on their knees or something. Yeah. That's like execution style. Yeah. Yep. So then yeah. that's the way it's gotta be if it's execution style for allegedly. Um, and, and again, if you're trying to set up, if, if huh? She was shot in the head. And okay. The yeah, it's getting reference to the head. And the angle that it was looks like she was, like it was from the back up. Mm -hmm. I don't know okay. if I can tell you that. No, that's, it makes, I mean, I'm getting the head. It validates it. Makes, it. Like I said. It makes it, it makes sense for ex execution, execution style. style. Type. That's mm -hmm. fine. You can tell really me as long as I'm getting it. You know, as long as I'm getting it, you can say it. Just you don't have to. Right. Just not extra information. Um, yeah. So there's a reference to the head, and I wonder if they're both. They were both shot in. If it was both in the head, because yeah. it's like bam. It's like bam, 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 bam. Yeah. And the whole time I'm seeing dad, please. I'm hearing dad, please don't do this. Okay. Okay. From his son. Dad, please don't do this. Paul, please don't do this. So that makes that that right there tells me allegedly um who it was. Yeah. Because I can hear those words clearly. Dad, don't do this. Aww. And I got his name in Nicholas. That's odd. Um yeah. there's some you know, because Paul and then Paul, it's kind of weird. There's they seem to be interconnecting. Uh, yeah. Do you also know about the, like, it's like, do you know if they were shot more than once or it was just the head? Because they keep getting the back, too. Maggie was shot in the Shot. Back. Yeah. Maggie was shot. Do you want me to tell you? If I got it. Because I'm getting oh. back and head. Right. Um. Paul was shot twice, but they weren't both shot twice. Mm. I keep hearing four shots. Maybe That's he missed. Maybe what happened? Yeah. Maybe he missed. Maybe he shot four times because, like, bam, 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 bam. But like, maybe yes. one missed or something. Right. And maybe he grabbed this, grabbed like found that shell casing or something. I don't know. That's really odd that that's what I'm hearing. I mean, but um, four makes sense. But unless I'm hearing like, it wrong, but it's it's it's, it's, it's ad, they're adamant. It's bam, 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 bam. Yeah. But I mean, maybe he missed, or maybe he fired one in the air. I I don't really know. Um. But I definitely, so he was only, he was on, so Paul was shot twice and she, you said she was, so who was shot twice? They were both shot in the head and then Maggie was shot in the head in the back, like you said. And then um, there was, Maggie was shot more than Paul. Paul was shot twice. Oh, so four plus would make sense then if she yeah. was shot more. She was yeah. shot. You can't load the it makes with her. Sense, but how many how many is in a clip? Five? That I don't know, but you got the number. <laughs> That's or how many four. times. Or she was shot four. She was was she shot four? There's there's a reference to four. But he used one gun for one and one gun for the other is the way that it comes across. I get two and then, but I get a reference to four. So I'm wondering if she was, if it was four times with her, because I hear one, two, three, four, and I'm looking at her. 
I'm, I'm going to double check this to make sure that I'm right. But I do, but, yeah, I do get the head and the, the back for sure. Which that I know. Um, yes. Yeah, which makes sense for, and my shoulder's hurting for some reason right here. Yep. All of a sudden, my right shoulder. So obviously the anger was to more, more towards her. And I feel it was a lot of anger for whatever was going on. Yeah. Yeah, my shoulder's killing me. Okay. I'm going to find it real quick, but... Was this a year ago? About... I heard yeah. a year... I heard a year ago, but I don't know what... I don't know what the reference is. I'd be, I'd be interested if one of the shots hit the shoulder because that's where I'm getting a lot of pain right now. like weird it's like the shoulder right here and then kind of the neck a little bit but mostly right like right here like my shoulder where my shoulder like right here is where it hurts so i'd be curious if uh there's not something there is it painful <laughs> right I heard the name Loretta. I wonder if I don't know where that fits. <laughs> if that's like a connection or a friend or something. <laughs> Makes me think of the singer Loretta Lynn, but I don't know. I don't hear that word a lot, so uh, or that name a lot, so it definitely is a spirit name. Right. I mean, one from spirit. I just don't know where you know where it fits. Um, I wonder if she gave a lot to charity. She comes across as one that, like, they seem opposite. Right. Yeah. Um, but she, like, I feel like she grounded him a lot throughout the relationship. Um, yeah. and I, there's a reference to charity. So I don't know if she gave to charity or did things like that or had banquets. There's, there's something about charity and banquets, um, yeah. or in a foundation or fund or something right. that's coming in. So at the angle of the shots, it, one of them did go right through her shoulder, but there, she was shot five times. Five. Okay. That, see, that's why I was wondering if there's five in the clip. Yeah. But I wonder if it was like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not hearing it all. It's possible. Right. Or those four could have Cause been. Because I, I was hearing I was hearing empty the clip. Em he emp emptied the clip. So I was wondering how many was in the clip because I was getting five. And I'm wondering if there's five bullets in a clip. Right. That's what my question was. Right. And then I was getting seven when you were looking that up. I was hearing seven. And so now I'm wondering if that was five and two. Yep. Yeah, because I was just was. I was going to tell you. I, yeah, I was going to tell you I was getting seven. I haven't but I've gotten that number so much lately that. Um, yeah, you know, it came in. I, it came in the last it came in Idaho and it came in um, the last reading we did. So sometimes I second guess, but I was getting seven. So that yeah. makes sense. But it's like he emptied the clip from one gun 
with her. I don't know how many is in a clip. I don't either, but it depends on how, like, what type like of what gun, kind of gun it is. Yeah. Yeah, because my 38, it's only got like four or five, I think. It's like one of the barrel ones. Right. Um, because I was hearing like he emptied the clip, which even if he didn't, it's pretty damn close. That's yeah. a lot. And that's yeah. obviously where the anger was. It was almost like dun 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 dun. But yeah, my shoulder, my head, it feels like all up up here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um he didn't have as much anger towards the sun. It was just he couldn't leave him alive. All right. Collateral yeah. damage, I'm hearing. Yeah. Because he was there and 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 plus again, he wanted it to seem like someone was trying to allegedly trying to um take out his family. Yep. Yep. That's that's the way that, that it comes across. And I don't know if that's been like like I said, that the way the thing he the reason he did like the two gun the two guns was he was trying to make it look like two people. Yeah. I mean that is pretty smart, but I feel like he was planning it. Okay, yeah. I feels like it was in the plans for like a couple months or something. Yeah. Like this is premeditated. This wasn't yeah. just I go crazy one night and do it. This is allegedly premeditated. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. It's trip. My shoulder, my arm's so hurting. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why that, but it's like it feels it's like a sharp pain too. And it's weird. There feels like a knot right there now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stop hurting okay i get it i get it stop <laughs> uh, okay he wasn't like fighting these dogs was he no it feels like, it, it, it i feel like she was more the lover of the dogs and he yeah. was more of not the lover of the dogs. So maybe that's why I'm getting like, I don't really care about them or anything. They were more her thing. I don't know yeah. if it was, I don't know if she's breeding or something. I don't know. Um, there's something like they're more than just pets, but I don't know if it's breeding or. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I'm not sure on that. Um, but it feels like she had the love for the dogs. She took care of the dogs or had yep. them taken care of. And he didn't really care about them um and we're lucky that night that he didn't do that anything to them the way that yeah. it comes across um yeah mm, she says he's putting on a good show um yeah. but she i'm hearing the word dead to rights do you know what that means no it's, it's not my terminology. It's her. So it's like an older slang. Like he's okay. caught dead to right. Like that oh, he's not yeah. getting out of it. He, he's not yeah. getting out of it. Allegedly. Okay. He's, he's. Yeah. That's hit that. I wouldn't use that word. That's something that an older person would use. Maybe from. Right. I don't know where exactly where they're from either. But. Um, <laughs> like I said. I don't know anything about this case. I don't know what happened. I don't crap. Um. So she's taking me to the courtroom for some okay. reason. Um, I'm hearing. Huh. Okay. I see they're showing me the jury. Okay. She's showing me the one jury stand up and hand the paper to the judge. Okay. I'll show you what I'm getting. That's what she's showing me yeah. guilty. Um, cause it's written out and then she says 25 to life, What okay. she tells me. Um, okay. but it's going to be, it feels like it's going to be like a two life term, maybe two life terms. I don't, it, cause it's two, it's two people, but yeah. I don't know. I'm getting the 25 to life, which is usually an unaliving sentence. Um, so that's what she shows me. We'll see if that prediction comes true. Yeah. Um, I hear sentencing March. Okay. I don't know if that's right. Um, she says she feels sorry for him, though. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. She says he used to be a good man. I don't know what happened. Yeah. She says, but I forgive him. Because at one time I loved him. Yeah. And on the other side, we understand things more. Right. You know, we under, we understand our path and our and our connection and contract and everything is what she's saying. So yeah. I keep hearing the word banquet. Like I don't know if they're going to have a banquet for her. They had a banquet for her or she was like she had banquets every year. Or something. There's something um, yeah. there with that. Uh, I don't worry, I hear the word movie. They make a movie out of it? Not that I'm aware of. Or she's saying it's like a movie, or I don't know if he had anything to do with the movies. I'm not really sure, but I hear a movie. I just got dizzy okay. all of a sudden. Yeah. There's something about jewelry or a necklace or something that she really always wore or something. Too. Okay. I was funny you said that I was just looking at it. <laughs> Were you? Did I mind read again? No. She just she, she kind of just showed me. Well, because I was gonna I was going to tell you, um, it says that she report his Maggie was reportedly seeing a divorce attorney right before the murders. Oh, and then, there's my divorce on the rocks. Yeah. Okay. And then I looked at her, I was looking at her necklace when you said that. Yeah. Um, I don't really see it, but I, um, she, there's like one that she wore or something that was really special that she wore all the time. I, I keep getting that. But yeah, the, that's what I was getting like on the rocks divorce. Like she, and he was mad. She was going to take a lot of his money. Like he's, he's kind of a greedy man. Yeah. He's a cutthroat businessman. He's greedy. You're going to yeah. divorce me. Blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm getting. But um, like I get. I get he really changed. There's a shift in his per in his personality that she's talking about. Like, yeah. um, he became like mean. I hear the word domineering. I don't even know what that word means, but like mean and domineering. And um, can you look it up and see what it means? <laughs> I don't know what it yeah. means. <laughs> uh, mean and domineering, and like, um, she said I was tired of his BS. Like it just wasn't working for her anymore, and he was controlling. Domineering, and, yeah, asserting one. Sorry, asserting what? Asserting one's will over another in an arrogant way. Ah, so being dominant, basically. Okay. Um, I mean that makes sense. Yeah. I just feel like he's one way behind closed doors and another way in public. That's the way she comes. Like, I feel like he was really emotionally abusing her if not yeah. getting rough with her at times right. you know the way that she shows me he was being really emotionally abusive and getting rough with her and the big thing yeah. again is money even if she was divorcing him not only you're not gonna divorce me effing b but because i'm hearing that it's not only just but she was gonna take the money because she would get half or whatever more than that probably the house and yeah. whatever else but yeah but it's weird because I still get him and I don't know, maybe this is before he ever met her. I still get him with like a young girl or like cheating or something. There's some or buying this person something. But I don't know exactly when that was in the relationship. You know? Right. Okay. But he comes across yeah. as the guy that that like I can do what I want, but you can't do what you want kind of thing. Um, right. Yeah, she's I hear cheating. So. Um, there was a lot going on in that household behind closed doors that a lot of people don't know. And again, he was a different person towards her. And and she was, I think she was kind of fearing for her life or she kind of knew. I wonder if she said something to somebody 
at yes. one point because because yeah. I don't know if she said something like if anything ever happens to me it was you know Alex um yeah. or there's allegedly. you know yes. she's allegedly there was something she was telling someone that yes. she knew she had a feeling she had a feeling something because i hear on the rocks like it was on the rocks for quite a while and it was it was a lot of fighting and arguing uh, over little stuff and i see her like <sighs> really struggling with it like i think she had planned to also leave too before the divorce like i see her packing bags getting ready to walk out take the sun and leave yes Yes. Because he was abusive. Yeah. And he threatened her multiple times. If you leave, I will kill you, you effing B. Yep. Maggie moved out of the house ah. before. before um, but then she came back. And suspected, uh, suspected, yeah. Well, because he asked her to. Um, yeah. And suspected an affair. Ah, okay. So that's all. It's all clicking now. All right. It makes sense. I'm glad yep. I'm on the right track. Yep. I wonder if something even hit like closer to her lower back because it like hurts yes. now. Yes. Yes. One did. Yes. Oh, okay. Because I'm getting a lot of pain in my lower back all of a sudden. Like where my yep. kidneys are kind of. Yep. Yeah. And then like, Okay. <sighs> I'm sorry, Maggie. I feel bad for her because she... <sighs> he did. He promised her he would change and all of that. And she's like, I was a sucker. I believed it. Um, yeah. And I feel like that happened multiple times. That He made those promises. And every time he would just go back on... He would be okay for a little bit. And then he would just like normal... You know, just like normal people that are like this. He would... He was an abusive yeah. a-hole. Um, and I feel like she started to live in fear because I really do feel like he threatened her. Yeah. You try to leave me, I will kill you, you effing B. And that's why <sighs> he's not getting, he's, yep. no, he's not getting away with this. He's not getting away with this. There's reasonable doubt because he wanted it to be like that, allegedly. Like I said, yeah. that's why he used the two guns. That's why he did certain things. But I feel they have enough circumstantial evidence and other evidence that, it kind of piles right. up against the reasonable doubt. Yeah. Um, Cause it's not, a, yeah, oh, this is, that's something, yeah, he can create that, but that doesn't mean he didn't do it, you know, um, allegedly. <sighs> He's a shady, shady guy. Yes. Which makes yes. me wonder if, if this isn't in, this isn't interconnecting with Nicola because of similar stuff. Yeah. Or I was picking oh, yeah. up on this the other night. Yeah. Which that doesn't make any sense, but. <sighs> and I feel like it kind of took him a little bit to arrest him, too. Um, yes. I don't know. Yes. If, I don't know if maybe he thought he was getting away with it, but they had to build a case, and there was literally no other, no, nowhere else to look. I mean, right? Yes. Everything, even though he tried to make it look like it wasn't him, it pointed right at him. Like um, they just had to yeah. build their case, kind of thing. But I feel like he thought he was going to get away with it for a little while. I see him coming into the interrogation room multiple times before he was arrested. Yeah. I think that bringing him in yeah. and out. And they were trying to see if he would, you know, stick to his story or change his story or whatever. But it feels like he had it rehearsed because I hear rehearsed yeah. like he had it. He knew he was going to say and it was rehearsed and he kind of memorized it. There might be a little tweaks yeah. here and there, but but whatever he's saying went against what they knew factually yep. as far as yep. the alibi or whatever. Um, also, there's something about a camera that's coming in. I don't know if it's their camera, like maybe it was turned off. They had a camera, but security camera, but it was turned off or wasn't working. Or um, there's a neighbor's security camera. There's something with a security camera that's coming in that's important okay. as well. Um,
Yeah, this is premeditated. This isn't like... So this will be first degree, I think, is premeditated. Okay. I don't know if that's what they're going for. Um, I'll look. It's eleven eleven right now. Um, yeah. But I hear she says he's got high powered attorneys. Yep. Um, which are usually good for getting people off, but I just don't think they're that good. Like, okay. and they usually are really good. And I think that they've tried to do a good job at creating reasonable doubt. But I just think between just all the stuff leading up to this. With a pattern of maybe, I don't know, witnesses or something that are saying he was this way towards her and he said this towards her and he threatened her and like all of this stuff previously and the fact of the alibi and like him buying the gun. Like it's all just because I think they got a receipt or something for the gun. There's something, again, evidence that he purchased it um, prior yeah. and... It's just weird they have it. Like, why did he keep it? Let's, unless they just found it. Yeah. Um, so three counts of money laundering is in there. Okay. I was getting money laundering, huh? That's weird, because I got that necklace case, too. Yeah. Yeah. I do think she knew more about him, and she was going to use that against him in a divorce thing. Yeah. And that was so another reason he had to do it. Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. She comes across as very like, um, I don't know. It feels like she was more confident and stuff. But when this started to make it take a turn, it feels like her confidence goes down and it feels like she's, you know, she takes on that person that's got dv going on um yeah. that persona yeah. like that's how that's how she comes across to me like before she seems very like like up and then all of a sudden she's like slowly being beaten down um Jeez. and also i wonder if she went from being going out to like a banquets and stuff or doing things like that to not being seen in public yeah like being more of a recluse kind of thing because I feel like he's super controlling. There's yeah. there's a there's a big thing of controlling there. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I feel like there was a conversation with, that the son had with the mom. Like, I'm afraid of dad. Can we please leave? Or um there was some kind of conversation between those two about leaving. Because the son kind of knew. The son, the son wasn't, he wasn't dumb. He knew. And he knew right. if he left him alive, the son would testify against him and tell him all the stuff that was going on. So there's, there was a conversation that her and the son had together. Yeah. Um, prior to this. It was like a week before this. Because okay. I feel like she was really going to leave. In yep. That's why the timing of it happened. Like, he had to do it before she left. Okay. Because I literally see her packing bags again. I mean, it wasn't just that one time like we talked about earlier. It's almost like, yeah. I don't know if she, I feel like she was leaving again. Like, before she divorced him. Like, she was getting out. She was scared. Like, yeah. there's something that shifted in him that he became, like, this crazy person. I hear, hear him yelling all the time at her and, like, yeah. being emotional. I see him grabbing her arm, being emotionally abusive. I even see a slap. So, I think yeah. he was really being abusive in more than one way. Right. And nobody knew what was yeah. going on. But she, again, she also had, like, there's something she knew about the money laundering that she was going to either turn in use against him that because that came in the very beginning like money is like a big thing not only that but like if she divorced him she'd take everything so there's multiple yeah. um what's the word i'm looking for um multiple motives for doing this yeah she did find out something about money before that we're like right before that too yeah 
That's what I'm saying. She because I'm getting like um like ledgers or something like that or receipts or something that yeah. she saw yeah. that she found. And I feel like between that and the abuse, like she wanted she was gonna leave, but she was also gonna use that against him. And she probably yeah. end up with a lot more than just half. Or right. his assets would get seized because there's something about seizing assets that's coming in too. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah. And I'm also seeing a for sale sign on their house. So I don't know if it's being sold or what. But 30 Huh. I'm getting the word I'm getting the number 34. Okay. Million? Is it worth that much? You sell a house for uh, that much? It's big. How big is it? I'll bring a picture up. So I I found that he has been charged with the murders, but I had like it doesn't say what degree. So just so you know that mm, I'm betting it's first because they probably found evidence of premeditation. There's a reference to I wonder if she had a best friend or something. Did she have a sister or someone that's like yes. a sister? Yes. Yes, she had a sister. Yes. Um, so I see a sister going and putting flowers on a grave. Okay. I don't know if she's buried or was cremated or or not, but sometimes that's a reference to someone paying respects. Okay. And her knowing about it. Um, okay. I'm getting anxiety with that. I don't know. Was her and her sister close? I think maybe her sister knew what was going on. Yeah. I don't know she talked to her sister all the time or something, but there's, um, I feel like they were like this and I'm getting anxiety with that for some reason, because I guess she's like, she knows her sister struggled, struggled really hard with it. There's a reference to like her sister wanting to pick up the phone and call her. Cause I feel like they talked all the time, but couldn't. So there was a moment there where she had, she, I mean, for a while there where she had a really hard time with the path, with her passing. Yeah. Um, and the situation and right away when she heard about this she knew she knew what happened because i feel like that she confided in her i don't know yep. if she's a witness or not but i'm hearing yes. witness okay yes. i'm hearing witness so she was a witness to it because i feel like she confided in everything that was going on yep. and she might have been the one that she told if something happens to me alex did it allegedly yep. um yeah, okay. Because it feels like she, like, told her everything. Um, I don't like doing cases like this because there's so much out. People think I, like, go and memorize Google or something. Um, it annoys me. So I am. I literally. I'm just so I everybody know. knows. Because I'm the one that, that that's, she's researching for me. I could never remember an hour of stuff. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Well, some things I forget, and then I'll remember after. But. Did this happen, um, like, during warmer months? Yes. Like, middle of year or something? Yeah. Because for some reason, she showed me it was, like, warm outside. Yes. Yep. Like, June, July? Yep. June, I'm pretty sure. Let me look. June. Pretty sure it was June. They actually kind of did the speedy trial on this because this. Things usually don't go that fast. Yep, June uh, 2020. Do you want me to tell you the year? No, was it last year or year before? Last year? Year before. 21. Year before? Why yeah. was it getting a year ago? I think that's when he was arrested. Let me look. Wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's what we're years in. When do you get arrested? That's what I'm looking up. Okay. 
Because I heard a year ago, but I don't know where, where it fits. It had me thinking that this was last year, but I guess it's been two years ago. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, her sister knew everything that was going on, basically, for the most part. She's like one of the good witnesses that they brought in. Um, here and like Anne, Annie, I don't know who that is either. Um, first or middle. Okay. I don't know what the f why she's saying phone records. Um, I don't know why she's saying that. Um, unless there was phone records, he about the whole money laundering. I'm not really sure what that. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm hearing that, but I don't know what that is. Um, well, I think the phone records could relate to it doesn't match his alibi. Well, that was the phone pinging from the oh, okay. beginning. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. So he did have his phone with him then, and it didn't match or something with what he was saying, which is where he messed up. Got out of it. Yeah. I don't know why she's showing me, like, a pond. I wonder if there's, like, a pond around there or something. I don't really know why I'm getting that. It's kind of odd to get. Okay. In, unless it's just, just like one in the area, like behind, like not on their property, but like around it. I I have no idea why she's showing me that. I, I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, he was charged in July 2022 with their murder. So that's so what I was getting that was June, July. Yeah, so it was a yeah. year ago, um, yeah. well, a little less, but that's why I was getting both June and July, because it happened in June, he was arrested yeah. in July, that makes sense, that's why both months were coming in, Yeah. He, okay, but just different yeah. years, okay, yeah, makes sense, I mean, not exactly a year, but we're on our way, right, well, it's exactly a year from the time it happened, so, uh, makes sense, okay. I'm trying to get some like validating information on her, but like stuff that's not out. <laughs> right. I'm getting 17. I don't know where that fits either. Okay. <laughs> I'll try to wrap it up. I know you got you got your kids. He's decided to go play. It's fine. He's literally right on the other side oh, of the wall. My dogs are like, Mom, come on. Tell this to us every night. <laughs> well, good thing the energy thing works because I don't feel as tired as I did. <laughs> Right, yeah. <laughs> it took a lot of water. A lot of energy. Show me her wedding ring. Um, I don't really know why. I don't know if, not really sure, unless it's just symbolic or there's something with her wedding ring, like maybe she wasn't wearing it or. I don't know. Um, I hear that she was well loved, and there's. Yeah. So I'm wondering if. Um, so her son, I was her. I wonder if her son was getting like good grades or something, or doing well in school. It's weird. It's almost like he was. I feel like he was doing well, and then he kind of dropped. Like his grades kind of went down. It's. Yeah. She shows me like he's getting good grades and then they kind of went down, but it was almost because of the stuff that was going on at home. 
Okay. Like it was affecting. It was affecting him. Cause she, okay. I get like this and like this. Like she shows me like A's and then she shows me like C's and like it it, it changing or shifting in his schooling. Okay. Um, I just wonder if that's right. I wonder if that's correct. It makes sense. I wonder if he liked to game too, because I get like video games with him. Um. She show, but she shows me like um, her being out at parties and being all dressed up and stuff, and like that was something that she did like back in the day. Like she really enjoyed that socializing and stuff, but something yeah. changed and she didn't do that like really anymore. Right. Because yeah. I see her walk, and I don't know if the party's at her house or somewhere, or she threw parties, but I see her walking yeah. around like in a black dress, like conversating and stuff like that. Like, did she? They throw parties yeah. at their house. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because she shows me her walking around and she liked to throw parties. She liked to socialize. But there became a point. I get five years where something kind of shifted. There's a reference to five, another five, five years. Um, oh, five years altogether, I think, between like five years ago. Okay. okay. Of when, I don't know, something started to shift or something changed or exactly where the five years are coming in at. But. Okay. I was just. Yeah. I was counting too because I got 17. So I was wondering if that was 2017, but it comes out 2018 if it's 2023. But it could be five years from, like maybe five years from last year when he was, I don't know, when he was arrested. Right. Like five years, le maybe five years leading up to this happening. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. There's a reference to five years. Um, Yeah, there's a lot going on. She says, it was a mess. That's what she says. Yeah. It was an absolute mess. Um, yep. She says, I don't even know how I got hooked up with him. And she talks about how in the beginning, like, he he gave, like he was all sweet and kind and showered her with gifts. And, you know, um, what's that word where they just, like, love bomb you? He, she just lo he love bombed her. Yeah. And it it was okay for, I mean, it was good for a while. Um, I don't know. There's something that shifted with him, like, really bad. Like, I don't know, he got money hungry or something and started doing bad stuff. Um, okay. That's kind of how it comes across. Or greedy, you know. And yep. Like, that's how it comes across. Because um, she shows me them getting married. I see her in, like, an older style gown. I don't know how long they were married for. Um, were they married a while? Oh, yeah. Their oldest. Yeah. Because I was getting kids. like 20 years or something. Something 19? like that. Yeah. 19? 19? I think it's longer than, well. 20? I got to look it up. I, they marry a long time because the, the, the dress I see is like one of those older style, like really older style with the lace, lace long, like lace longer sleeves, I think, or something. It's just like an older style dress. And I see that there's, I don't know if there's a picture like this of them holding the, the knife to cut the cake. She shows me that. Or like they're like both smiling at the camera and there's a picture and they're cutting the cake. Um, she shows me that. So then it was like she looks really young. Yeah. Well, their oldest son's in his 20s. So, I mean, it makes sense. So over 20 years then. So she's been married a long time. Uh, which is crazy because, you know, you're married all that time and then he goes nuts and something like this happens. Um, but, yeah, I think she was just trying to show me that they were together a long time because, um, yeah. you know, the, the way she showed me, she's like super young and all that. Um See, I'm not really getting much else. I think I got a lot though, huh? Did I describe the house? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Because I was wondering if it was really like I saw it. Um, yeah. 
it's a couple of floors or something. It's yeah, it's really huge. Yeah. Um, like colonial cool. style is what I hear, like colonial or something. I yeah. don't know. Um, nice. She shows me like crystal chandeliers. Like she had like, it, she says it's really sad because we worked hard. You know, we worked hard for all we had. We had a lot, and like he just threw it all away. And because uh, she shows me like crystal chandeliers and stuff, and I feel like she, she like she liked the nice thing. She liked to spend money. You don't get me wrong. She's a woman. You know that's what we like to do. We like to spend money. But she was also very humble with it, um, and she wasn't shady or shysty or anything like that. Yeah. Um, she was she was very like uh like like i said when she found out about this she was how is she's gonna go to the police it feels like maybe she was gonna go to the police or bring it up in the um divorce or something yeah you know um is she a grandmother does her oldest son have oldest son have a kid if not, he will, because I hear, like, she's going to be a grandmother or something. Okay. No, I don't think he has any kids right now. I think he will. Is he okay. in college? I hear I the word know. college. And she says, I'm gonna be, she says grandmother, like, she's going to be a grandmother. And, uh -huh. uh, but I don't know when it's going to be. But I think it might be a, I think it might be a girl. Okay. The way it comes across, it feels like a girl. Um, not getting much on it, but other than she's like, one day I'm gonna be a grandmother. And yeah. I feel like if it's a girl, it'll she'll name it Maggie or something, something after her. Um, right. Yeah. So she 17. says it's in the in the no, works now. No. She says it's in the works now, so she's working on it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> she's gonna hold the baby <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> Okay, go uh, ahead. That's awesome. um, yeah. 17, 17 could be the acre because it's 17,078, 1,770 okay. acres, but it, I got like the 17 pop up. Mm. Or it could be like 2017, or I don't really freaking know. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know. Could have multiple means. Yeah, I don't know. I just heard the number. I mean, that could be it. Right. She says, tell my family I love them. Yeah. And me and Paul are okay. I heard me and Paul are okay. And she shows okay. me them holding hands. I don't really need to connect to Paul because she kind of gave me everything. Um, I do want to bring something up, though. Do yeah, it. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know how you got like all the money in the beginning and stuff. Yeah. Um, Paul back, this is why I was counting the years was Paul was in a boating accident with his friends back in 2019. And there was a girl that was killed towards the end. Maggie was talking to, I don't remember who it was um, saying that she didn't even care about the money. If she, Cause they were like suing them for like $30 million and she didn't care if she just, they didn't have that much money. She, would rather just give them all what they had and start over again. Um, and so, am I TMI? <laughs> okay, so um, when they were shot, I, mean, I don't know if I would if I would have connected to him. I don't know, you know, if you would have gave it or not. Maybe I don't know. So when they were shot, that was the excuse that Alex Alex had gave the cops was that, that the boating accident, and they were supposedly supposed to be going to court within that following week for the for getting sued for the accident and so he told the cops that that was going on at the time they when they showed up to make a and motive that, yeah for someone else mm -hmm. yeah. i mean that's where it kind of came in that he was trying to blame it on someone else with the money it just yeah. i just didn't get all the details to it but right so that's what I'm saying. Like he tried to put it off on that as they were killed out of anger from that, that accident. How, how old was the girl? I just, I'm wondering if she's 17. I mean, <laughs> that, that number is going to bug me. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, I think he, if I'm not mistaken, I think he was. Or how old he is. But, I mean, do you think I need to connect to him? Or do you think she gave me everything? I mean, I'm not really sure much what else he could give me. Right. Really, other yeah. than just stuff to validate him. I mean. Right. I know I just kind of TMI'd that. But um, if if you're up for it, you got any energy, let's try and see what happens. Well, now just, if I get that, it's going to be. I know. That's why I'm like, oh, I think I'm tmi this. But. But it doesn't matter because he, he already, it already came in about trying to blame it on somebody else and money. And I said, I didn't know if it was business or what it was. So. True. Yeah. Yeah. She was 19. What the f 17's got to. Oh, I said 19 earlier. I said 19. Oh, yeah. 20. Yeah, because I was getting 19. I thought maybe it was the years that they were together. It was but almost five years ago. 2019. It was four. 19, like almost two, 23, four years. All right, we'll see if I if Paul wants to talk. He might not. We'll just see. Or just be like, yeah. I feel bad. I just TMI'd that. <laughs> oh, well. Where the heck? I need a picture of just there it is. There's one, but I'm going to just have to zoom in on him because uh, he looks very unhappy. Yeah. Almost angry, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I have wondered if he was. I feel like he was kind of in a depression. I think that's why the, like I'm getting like the drop in grades and stuff, and maybe changes. I don't know. I get like depression, like, you know, now that you're talking about this, is kind of maybe he had some guilt or depression towards that. Yeah. I think so too. Because I wonder if there was drinking going on because I'm getting a reference to drinking or something. Yes. Um, yes. So, in a way, he feels responsible because of yeah. the drinking and the partying that was going on. Yeah. Um, See, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of was just like trying to just get to the gist of it. I don't know. I just heard my dad was mean. <laughs> I don't think always, though. It's more like... Um, I don't know i get like like he started this boy started kind of having a rough time you know yeah yeah um just being a teenager oh he's making my head hurt really bad yep I think that's why the timing came up for why he decided to do it. He yeah. was trying to pin it on someone else like that came in earlier. He's trying to pin it on someone else or some other situation, which it makes no sense yeah. because if she, was, if she was willing to, it, which makes no sense because if she was willing to go to court or even pay him off, what would be the reason of it? You know, um, right. it's not like she was fighting it, you know? Right. Yeah. But, you know, he says he was reckless or they were reckless. Yep. Um,
I wonder if he spent a lot of time in his room. He keeps showing me like him just being in his room a lot. It's weird. I feel like okay. he was really social yeah. up until that point. And then he kind of became yeah. reclusive yep. and um, didn't want to do any of that stuff anymore because he didn't want anything else bad to happen. Like, that's how it comes across. Right. Um, yeah. But he said, he, you know, he felt bad what his mom was going through and he wanted, he, like, he wanted to protect her. I feel like he even had thoughts of, like, <sighs> protecting his mom in some way. Yeah. From his dad. Like, like being ready to um to protect her, I guess. I don't know. I guess in a way, like he says I used to look up to him. Right. Yeah. But then there came a point where all that changed. Um Yeah. He says, I wish I could have protected my mom. From a lot of the stuff that she went through, heartbreak and whatnot, with with his dad. Um, I like feeling super dizzy. I wonder if like he was on any kind of medication. Probably could have been for depression. Yeah, because I'm getting medication with him. Especially if you felt guilty about that, you know. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe they wanted, or maybe it was a thought, like, you know, wanted to get him on um, antidepressants or, I don't know. It just feels like there was a point where he, he had a lot of guilt and was depressed over the guilt that he had. And he felt like he was causing problems for his mom. And, like, he says he wished he could, he says he understands how it is now, but when he was alive, he wished he could have taken it back that day. Like, um, I don't know. It comes in a lot. He's not really coming in too awfully strong. I wonder if he ever played basketball. There's a reference to basketball. Right. Um, okay. I could just be tired or he doesn't feel like there's anything else to say. Um, yeah. I'm not really getting much else with him. And again, like I said, I could just be tired because it's been an hour and 30 minutes or he just, yeah. there's, there's really nothing else. There's really nothing else to say about the situation. Like his mom already covered it all. Right. Um, but I just feel this shift in him. Like he was this happy go lucky kid. And then he kind of shifted to being just different, like more recluse and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not getting much else. I'm not getting much from him at all. Okay. And he just doesn't want to talk, maybe. I don't know. Or he don't want to talk about it. I don't know. Or my vibration is like. <sighs> right. Was Maggie short for something? Huh? Was Maggie short for something? I don't feel like that was. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, it's weird. I can't shake the feeling that like he got them up out of their beds or something. Okay. Because I feel like the sun was. I feel like they're both in their rooms. And he sh he shows me like him going. Did he? I wonder if he had a study like where he kept his guns at, because 
So yeah. I see him going in his, I feel like he, it's like I see him going in his study to grab the, yeah. grab the gun. Yeah. Is that where they were kept, I wonder? Yeah, they're, they oh. were cut. Yeah, they were kept in like a certain room, yeah. Because, like, I see him going in there. It's weird because he, like, dressed himself, like, in black or, like, a hoodie, like, a black hoodie and sweats or something. Um, And he shows me, like, when you come into his room, um, he was like, what are you doing, Dad? And his dad just started yelling at him. Hmm. Pointing a gun at him and forcing him out of the house, allegedly. Right. Um, but I feel like it was he got hit the mom first and then hit and then him. Like that's how it comes across. It could be wrong, but that's the kind of order I get. Um Okay. I wonder if their rooms were upstairs. Or I don't know if both rooms are just one room, but there's a room upstairs, like where because I see him climbing the stairs to get to Okay. Where the rooms were. Um, and there's something about his shoes too like I don't know he's like there's uh, he's paying attention to his shoes or showing me his shoes as I don't know if they have a footprint or something Um, but there's and that match his shoe his shoe print was where it shouldn't have been or something okay. because he shows me his he's showing me his um his shoes as being significant yep. and then a footprint um okay yeah <sighs> yep Also, I'm hearing DNA. Um, okay. Which I don't know how. If he didn't touch him, there would be DNA. But there's reference to DNA some somewhere. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that is. I thought he didn't want to talk, but now he's talking. Okay. <laughs> right. Um. I get 27. I don't know what that is. Um, okay. I don't know why I'm hearing the word brown jacket. I don't know if that even has anything to do with... I don't really know what that is either. Um, okay. I mean, he just kind of shows me, like, with him, with him walking him out, they're like, turn around, like, why are you doing this? Like, what, you know, what's wrong with you? You don't have to do this. We won't say anything. Um, gosh, I'm even making the, the <laughs> movements over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um like that's what I see. <sighs> Please, Dad, we won't tell anybody. Well, I'll get I'll um I won't you know, I won't go through the divorce. Um they're like begging, you know, begging trying to change his mind is the way it comes across. Hmm. Yeah, my head feels like super weird. Um, he says cold blooded. 
there. Yeah. And he gives me the symbolism of a snake. Okay. Unless he had a snake, but there's <laughs> a symbolism of a snake. Yeah. I mean, he's showing me a snake. Yeah. yeah. Um, Curious of what kind of clothes they were found in. I don't know where these names fit in, if they're just, like, friends or something. But I get, like, Aaron, like, with an E-R-I-N, and then a um, McKenzie. But the only McKenzie I can think is, I don't, unless it's somebody else. Um, and, again, I do get interconnects, which I forgot to say. So, right, yeah. or it could be connections. I don't know. Um, yeah. I feel like there was like a huge memorial or a huge, um, yeah, like some kind of huge memorial for them. But I don't know yeah. if like he was well liked or something. Like he he was popular at least at one time. Um, yeah. I don't know if that changed when after that whole situation, but he comes across as well liked kind of pop right. even a little popular um and there's a reference to he shows me like i don't know if it's a memorial or a funeral or there's tons of people yeah. um there and was. i hear uh i don't know if like they knew a lot of elite people but i hear elite yeah uh and are they buried next to each other yeah i get two graves next to each other so i'm wondering if they're i mean it's obvious i know but he she's showing yeah. me are he showing me yeah. the, the two girls next to each other yeah. at some kind of he says the words rock the nation but i mean i was under a rock i don't know anything about it. i don't know anything about it um So they called her Maggie, but her real name was Margaret. Okay. That was her middle name, wasn't it? It feels like a middle name. It doesn't feel like her... It feels like a middle nickname or nickname. Uh, I don't know. Um... Oh my goodness. You said something about a movie, right? Yeah. Hulu is developing a script series based on the Murdoch family. Ah, uh, knew it. And watch, there'll be a book coming out on Idaho 4 too. If not a movie, but I said if not a movie, but yep. I got movie. I even wrote it down. <laughs> Bam. Um, I don't know. He's not really giving me much else. He said, you got it all. <laughs> like, there's nothing, I guess there's like really nothing else to say other than I feel like there's, there's something there's, he's talking about like a situation too, that a couple days before kind of led up to this, that uh, where 
he maybe he noticed something or something happened with the two of them. Maybe they got into an argument or there's just a shift or something or he saw something or reckon there's something about that happened with him and his dad a couple days before okay. is the way yeah. that it comes across. Yeah. I don't know if it was an argument or something, but it comes across that something happened with the two of them. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Because of that whole court thing was happening at the time. So, yeah. Right. But I'm wondering if, like, they were arguing about it. Like, his dad blamed him for that. Like, losing money because his dad's very money motivated. So, you know, I'm sure he had a lot of animosity towards his son. But that's not where all his anger was, because in the end, his anger was at his wife, allegedly. But he saw had anger towards his son, obviously, because he put him in that position. Right. Yeah. I think it's just mixture. So that's that. I mean, that is some of the motive because of the money, but it's not the whole motive. Right. Right. I think it was just everything all together. Yeah. Yeah. Everything all together. There's a. I mean, there's a bunch, and again, there's some kind of. Plus, I think that actually he spoke up about the way he treats his mom at some point, and there was. A confrontation oh. about that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. I don't know why I see like his room blue. Okay. Um, I'd be curious if it was. I, I mean, usually walls are white, but for some reason I'm seeing blue walls. I don't. I don't know the significance of that. Um, I'm not getting really much else. Okay. Well, I think you got a lot, so. Yeah. I do. No. Thanks, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.